Hello lads, welcome to today's episode. My name is Alad for Set Play Gaming. Today we're doing a Stevenage Road to Glory career mode on FIFA 23. And we're playing Salford away in our first game. Before we get to that though, we're going to take a quick look at the objectives. And then we're going to go straight to the game. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Let me know in the comments. Alright, so we're going to take a look at the youth development objective. As you can see, it's a medium priority for the board. Sign four players in youth academy. Assigned to the positions goalkeeper, defender, midfielder and forward. Now those positions are um, also in addition to whoever we have in the academy. I'm probably going to look at that maybe after we've got a couple of games out of the way. Possibly towards the end of the month. And then those players within two seasons and has played 30% of the games. So there's a reliance there on the academy of bringing players through. Maybe not in every position but certain key positions that we might need. And a financial high priority of retaining 640000 of unspent budget. Um, it says short term, but it actually says finish the season, um, which are kind of contradictory. So I guess we'll just have to see how that plays out. The current funds at the moment is $1.7 so we're not in any danger of failing that right now. Um, before we begin today's game, uh, we have some bad news in the pre-season games that I played off camera. Elliot List, our best striker, uh, dislocated his shoulder, so he's out for two months. And it's more than likely that Eddie Boothroyd will select Jamie Reid up front for the first opening game of the season. Now we're jumping into today's game, and we're at Moor Lane to take on Salford City. Now, Salford City are a very good side. Um, a little bit of an orthodox formation that they're playing, 3-1-4-2. And those wide players are pushed very high up the field. I remember when they were playing 4-3-3 and um, they had Brandon Thomas Asante on the wing. Uh, but now they're, they're playing a different system. Um, and they've got that big target man um, in Smith. Uh, the one, one guy that we do probably need to look out for in today's game is their danger man, um, Hendry. Um, he's actually a very good player at this level. Um, so we'll just take a look at them. Um... You can see Ethan Galbraith, we know about him from the Manchester United Academy. Um, Callum Hendry, as I've just mentioned, and Conor McElhaney as well, um, danger danger man on the left side. Uh, so as you can see, that they probably are get at in the sense that those wide players, they're pushed quite high. If we can beat that and not allow ourselves to be smothered in midfield, I think we might have a chance of creating one or two chances against these guys. So here's our lineup today. As we take on Salford, uh, pretty much as it was in episode one when I showed you the team management. Just the one change with Elliot List being out with a dislocated shoulder. Jamie Reid comes in up front to partner Luke Norris. Um, there's a little bit of a, a contradiction there. Bostwick actually is playing defensive midfield. Um, and Reeves is actually the right central midfield and not the other way around. And it shows on the graphic. I think that's a bug. Uh, but I, here we are at Moor Lane. And um, we're going to start today's game, hopefully. Uh, before a ball's kicked, I would say I would take a draw. I think these are a very good team and should be there or thereabouts. And uh, Salford will get us underway. And they're kicking left to right in the red and white. Uh, the red shirts, white shorts. We're in a away strip of all purple. And uh, we're going to start the game. Just early on, just mark up. Uh, everybody take a man and just cut off those passing lanes. That's well in. Gilby with his first touch, Bostwick back to Reeves and across to James Wilding. Uh, adventurous right wing back, hopefully get some crosses in from that side. And then back to Bostwick. Now Bostwick, it's going to be interesting to see regarding his legs, he's given it away there. Uh, interesting to see with him being on the decline, um, how long his legs are going to carry him in this season um, and how quickly he's going to decline, that's going to be interesting to see. And here's Mallon, Smith to Lund and back to Smith again and he's dragged his shot wide pretty sure the Salford head coach will be disappointed with that Mallon oh he tried to pick out the winger but it was intercepted and now Gilby with his first touch on the ball on to Reid on to Norris Norris good strength Norris he gets into the box it's a good chance Norris oh is it the side netting oh he lashed at it. And A.D. Boothroyd up on the touchline there. He knows there that an early chance. 
King's going to restart this for Salford. And he throws it out. Bit of a high press here and a heavy touch. Easton, he's lost out to Reed and a good chance here. And Norris with the goal. A high press. All credit there to Jamie Reed who saw the heavy touch from... It's a really heavy touch from Easton. And he robs him of the ball. I'm not sure whether he's going to get an assist for that, Jamie Reed, but he probably should. And Luke Norris, head down, smashes it low past King. And that really all started because King, you know, he was trying to initiate an attack quickly by rolling the ball out. And then with our high press, we managed to win the ball back. I'm pretty sure the Salford manager will be unhappy at that decision. But an opportunistic strike. Can we create something of our own? Is the talented Alex Gilby on the ball. A lot of pressure on him. He's a fine player. Oh, and Norris chopped down there. And it's a free kick. Half an hour gone. So far, so good. Gives us something to hold on to going into half time. But if we can get a second goal here, that would be amazing. It is going to be Luke Norris. I don't know whether Gilby or any of those are any good at free kicks, but they're laying a man down there so we can't go low. It is going to be Luke Norris. I've got to get used to these free kicks again. It's a timid one, really. It's on target. Didn't really give King any problems. Probably should have done better from there, and they've rolled this out again. King sends it long. Long throw in there, taking advantage of Norris. In comes Reeves to try and win it back, and he's going to go back to King, who sends it long. Bostwick well in. James Wild in. Trying to go for the 1 2 into Norris. Norris edge of the box, and now Gilby! Oh! He thrashed at it. Left foot. Oh, he shanked it. Probably one of the better players, if not one of the best players that we've got in the team. And we're just there at the uh, 45 minutes. Time added on into stoppage time at the end of the first half. That's an overhit pass. And that will do it for half time. And uh, an opportunistic strike by Luke Norris, our main striker, our number nine. It's given us a 1-0 lead at half-time. And going into the break, you know, it, it's one of those things where I feel like we've both given as good as we've got. And if we go into this second half here, if we get to about 25 minutes in and we're approaching the last maybe 10, 15 minutes, I think we'll try and shut up shop. Because I think 1-0 would be a really good result against these guys. I'm sure Salford will be there or thereabouts. And Sweeney, Reeves, and now Norris, looking to go inside. It's a heavy touch and a heavy tackle, and now Salford can come away with it. Bolton. And King's going to restart. And now a gun and another high press here by Stevenage, and they've won it back. Gilby, good skill, into Bostwick. He's a bit higher forward. And I'd expect Clark on the overlap. Oh, and he's pulled it back. It's Reed. Oh, and a good save from King. Just maybe thought that when he pulled it back there, Clark, Reed might have gone for the far post, but he went near post instead. Bailey back inside. It's a good tackle. Heavy touch. Lund. 20 minutes to go. Lund. A touch inside. It's Mallon. Oh, and he's. Ballooned it over, much to the disappointment of the Salford crowd. He probably should have done better there. He could have actually crossed that to Smith at the back post. Another opportunity spurned. And we're going to go long because that's working for us right now. He gets the flick on, but Reed can't get to it. Oh, it's a poor pass. Well intercepted, and now Taylor into Gilby. Gilby. Nice touch. Norris. Heavy touch. Campbell. And he's offside. 
Hmm. He might have gone back to Gilby there, actually. Smith. 12 minutes left. Intercepted. Well played by Van Kooten. And he is, like I said, the way that the defensive lineup is set up. Van Kooten's the sweeper because he's the faster. He can cover those positions. Oh, danger there. Well read by Jake Taylor. Sweeney. James Wilding. Back to Sweeney. And now Taylor again. Ten minutes left. Taylor. Back to Pier Gianni. Sweeney. Pier Gianni. Our control of this game today has been very good. Boothroyd will be pleased at that at least. Just got to focus on these final few minutes. That's well in. Taylor. Gilby. Oh, great control. Gilby into the box. Oh, and he's just been dispossessed there. Intercepted. James Wilding. That's a raking drive, but never really on target. Three minutes to go. Toure. He's got legs. He's going to have to check back inside. Toure. Oh, he's taken out by Gilby. Ref wave play on. Into Smith, who's taken down by Taylor. And at this point, any stoppage of the game is good for Stevenage. Taylor's going to take one for the team there and uh, pick up the yellow. Mallon's going to send this in. Game is almost up. Can Reed hold this up for Stevenage? He can. It's a throw in. We're into time added on. There's going to be three minutes of stoppage time. Vassell into Hendry. Sliding tackle misses. But in comes Taylor again. He's played really well. Sweeney. We've got the ball. We've just got to make sure we don't do anything silly here. Here's Van Kooten back to Taylor. The win is ours. 60 seconds left. As we begin the countdown, this is a great win for us on the opening day. It's probably not been as entertaining as you've liked, but we'll take those three points. And that is surely now full time. A.D. Boothroyd picks up his first win as Stevenage boss on away soil at Moor Lane. We look very organised there. Yeah, there's A.D. Boothroyd. He's happy. He's waving to the away fans. And we'll take that. I'm sure, like I said, Stevenage, I'm sure Salford will be there or thereabouts. So I'm happy to pick up that win. And obviously we've got the uh, the cup game coming next. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, pretty happy with the clean sheet. And uh, we'll move on to the next game. All right, guys, that's it for today's episode. We'll be back very soon on the channel. And I'll be doing the uh, Carabao Cup match. And we've been drawn against Peterborough United. And uh, this will be a tough game. But hopefully you guys can join me. And get involved and leave some comments for me. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. This is our lad for Set Play Gaming. See you soon.